One Circuit Mailbag, coming to you live from downtown Tasmania. One Circuit, all peaches, no cream. Small-ish. And we have someone who can't cut probably is what we have. Let's try again. A little hub not cutting anything. Oh no, not too bad. Oh, okay, so hmm, transistors, voltage regulators. Let's have a look. And we'll zoom in on that guy. So IRF 9540. Hmm, closer still, I think. Yep, IRF 9540N. Let's plug it in and see if it is in fact a transistor. Right, let's bring in the tester and see what it makes of that. Testing, testing. So a MOSFET. Hmm. And it is a P channel MOSFET. And I'm not sure about what are the characteristics of the IRF 9540 and how closely they match these guys. So we've got a gate of one, a drain on two, and a source on three. So I'll put up those stats up here, but it is confirming that it's a MOSFET, which is a good start. So it can take a continuous current of, well, depending on conditions, uh, say at 25 degrees, I think it is around about minus 19 amps, which is, you know, well, it's minus because it's uh, P-channel, but that's a lot of current. And I think even pulsing up around the 70 amps, which is ridiculous, but uh, there it is, a power P-channel MOSFET should a, uh, a project need it. Chunky. Let's have a look. Ooh, more wrapping. Interesting. Aha. Ah, right. Is this to do with electronics or not? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so, yes, we have occasion to be going outside at night time for various uh, things that happen around farms at that time of night. And so I was looking to maybe upgrade some of the head torches that, uh, that we have. So... I'll uh, hook this up. Uh, I presume it's 8 in 650. It actually feels like it's got a battery with it, which is extraordinary. Let me just get to that and uh, we'll have a look. Okay, so there is, a, there is a way of getting out a screw, I think, from here. Oh, something's moving. Oh, yeah, that's good. Nope. Feels like it should be, yeah, I think it's actually out, but it's not falling out. And, oh, there it is, it's come out, that's nice. Fitty little thing. And then we might have to spudge the rest open. It's not quite coming. I don't wanna break it. Is it just glue? Oh, there's another, okay. So that's an awkward spot. It looks like there's another screw down there. Wow, how do you get to that guy? Hmm. Let me just try that. Ah, oh, there it goes. Yes, look at that. Okay, so you can get it open like that. There's your 18650 battery. And we don't have any indications on it as to it's very light though. But I guess like if it does fail eventually, I could probably replace that with a more Meteor version that is very light for an 18650 battery. No idea uh, how many milliamp hours that that one is credited with. Let's get it all back together, and uh, we'll see if we uh, <laughs> see if we've broken it. Battery back in, screws back in, and we have. Oh, that's nice. We still have some light. Flashing mode, all good. Nice one. Might think about replacing that battery though. Alrighty. Hmm. Let's see, going in the side here, what we've got. 
Ooh. I think this might be 3D printing stuff. Yes, got some Bowman tubing. And, oh, look at these little guys. So these are for cleaning the nozzles. So very, very fine needles. I suppose if you're into amateur acupuncture, you could probably do that as well. So uh, looking forward to stabbing myself inadvertently with these things and maybe feeling better straight afterwards if I hit the right point. And these are just various nozzles to fit. Let's take one out and have a look at it. So not actually nozzles, it's the connectors for the tubing. So uh, there's an example right there on the Creality Ender 3 V2, not nozzles. And in close-up profile, there they are. Why there's two different types, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at the original order and have a look. But uh, these are all just spares at the moment. The printer's running fine. Uh, but I do worry about, you know, as I look around, uh, both at the printer and also at some of the work that people do online with what they need to replace, I go, oh, I don't actually have one of those. So um, yeah, this is just about making sure that the printer keeps printing. Big box, printed circuit board. Okay, boxes aren't my favorite. Let's see how I can hack this one up. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, wow, printed circuit board indeed. Holy moly, that's huge. Right, Simple Electronics 18650 Adventure Board. Do you really want adventures with 18650s? Uh, maybe. I'll put a link up here to Simple Electronics video about this 18650 board, which is uh, can be used for both, uh, I guess, as a power supply for the uh, for any projects you've got, but also uh, you can um, charge the 18650s as well. And he's got big old uh, traces here for uh, high currents to be coming out of it. So yeah, I probably need to read up. It's a little while ago since I ordered these, um, but I probably need to read up a little bit about, uh, about how to use them. So thanks, Simple Electronics. Most of these guys are drop ships, so there's not much point in seeing what's on the label. There isn't anything on the label. Ah, okay. So as part of the Simple Electronics 18650 Adventure Board, can't wait for adventures with that, you've got these stonking big holes here, and I believe that that should be about putting these guys in here uh, so we can connect up our load. Let me, uh, let me get that organized. So yes, this is where they mount up. This is the charge side. This is the discharge side on the other side. And I should mention also that um, PCB way have been terrific here, both at Simple Electronics and for helping him put this together. And that's, um, I'll, uh, I'll make sure I link that up again so you can see uh, his video with all the links as to how you can get a hold of this for yourself. Uh, but also helping me uh, get uh, some of these, I think five of them I've got out to uh, Tasmania so I can start charging up my 18650s as well. And look, only two bits left over, these metal tongues. Uh, great. What's this? From Germany? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's got a lot of bits in it. I'm trying to carefully find a corner to open. Let's see what it actually is. Aha. Alrighty. So, yeah, lots of 18650 connectors, holders, I guess you could say. And uh, again, with the, better get the old pen in here as well, PCB way. And we've got these 18650 holders now. I've got to get these right way around, otherwise everything explodes. And those pins should match up with the board. And that is 
the design, there we go, nice. That is the design of uh, Simple Electronics and his uh, 18650 Adventure Board uh, because that's what you need, you need adventures. And uh, many, many of these. So I imagine I ordered enough to uh, populate the five boards that uh, that uh, PCBWay sent me. So yes, the project continues. Very light. What does it say on the front? Nothing. Drop shipped, like everything these days. Lots of packaging inside though. That's good. And inside the packaging we have a camera. Yes, a camera. Okay, been doing a lot of playing around lately with orange pies and with raspberry pies and various camera combinations. And this is another one. Wow, that is a very big, that is a very big lens. This must be quite a wide angle. Look at how big that is. There's it. There it is on the mat. So you can see that that's uh, what I've got here. Around it's two two and a half centimeters that barrel. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look at the listing for that. That's interesting. Yeah. So here's the listing, and uh, we're seeing five megapixels. One o eight zero. POV5647 camera module for the Raspberry Pi 3 Plus. 175 degree wide angle. Uh, so that's a fisheye lens with adjustable focal length. So that explains the uh, the barrel, which is pretty large. Let's just go down and have a look and see if it says anything more about it. Mm, not really. Some stuff that I don't really understand. Pretty keen though to plug it into. I do have some Raspberry Pi 3B pluses and um, yeah, that's a great camera to have for that device. So yeah, that's nice. That is the mailbag for the week and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.